Hey everyone, Icon here. Welcome back to another episode of Esports Analysis. And finally, it's a little bit weird to say this, but I'm actually pretty excited to be breaking down scrims again. Just because if we're talking about the presentation from the event over the weekend, there were times where it just got super hectic with all the static cams and the third person and all that. Um, I liked it. I will say that as the weekend got went on, it got a little bit better. So Saturday, Sunday, it was a little bit easier to see. But I'm excited to just be back watching one person, seeing what rotations are happening. And it's just a little bit easier to understand. The other thing that we get is we get to be able to listen in to communication a little bit so we can get a little bit of knowledge from what's happening there as well. But with that, we are playing Azir Cave, and I think that for Chicago, this is slowly becoming one of their best maps. If you are somebody playing for Chicago, I think that this is probably one that you're going to end up vetoing. They just, they look so good on this over the weekend. They were able to beat both Dallas and Optic on this map alone. So I would think moving on here that this is probably one that ends up getting vetoing, but we'll have to wait and we'll see what's happening. So a couple things happening here. If we're talking about the actual gameplay at the first hill, Chicago was able to build up a pretty big lead there. So they were able to build up a lead, and now they're just fighting for this back spawn. They do have the spawns back here. By the way, I just did a video about how broken spawns can be on this exact map. So if you haven't seen it, I'll put a card up in the top right-hand corner. Make sure you go check that one out because it's super informative, and a lot of people were pretty shocked by it. But now that they're back in this corner, there's 30 seconds left, and I would have to think that the last 30 seconds here will probably end up going the way of Chicago. Um, but I will say that Minnesota's doing a pretty good job of pushing up here. So with about 18 seconds left, if you're Chicago, what you want to start focusing on now is just rotating out through the cuts. So that's why if you're watching exactly where Formal's just looking at, actually all four of his teammates just went down. They were both trying to escape, two to the left side and two to the right side. But essentially at this point in time, what you're trying to do is just get out. And that's why you see everybody flanking through the right. So they're sending two people to the left cut, two people to the right cut, and Formal's following up to the right over here because really what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to flip this spawn. So as this goes from the third to the fourth hard point, so the third hard point isn't the most important. You do want to try to contest this time as much as you possibly can, but you want to get into position inside the fourth hard point because that's one where if you're in there and you're set up, you can get a whole bunch of time from that hard point. But if you're not in there and you don't have any setups or anything, then it can be really hard to get into. So with about 20 seconds left on this current hard point I will say that this is a really nice job here of Minnesota maxing out this time um, again if we're thinking back to the event I now have Minnesota fourth in my power rankings I think that they were phenomenal their respawns were out of this world they played extremely well the searches they were actually 0-2 on now you might say well if you look at the standings it says Minnesota was 1-1 one one in search but remember that was the forfeit that was given to them through the gorillas. So that match with the gorillas that somebody on LA was using a banned perk. I don't know. I don't remember which one it was, but um, so Minnesota has performed really well in terms of respawn. So hard point and domination, they struggled with search, but I think that this will be end up being a good matchup for Chicago just because they're playing a team that is really good at respawn game types. Sorry, there was a little bit of a lag there in formal stream. I don't I don't know what happened. I watched it back two or three times and it just lagged the entire time. So I don't know exactly what happened there. I wish it was something I could fix, but I'm sorry, I apologize. But the only thing that happened is formal ended up leaving the fourth hill and now he's over here on the fifth hill. And this is where they're gonna be able to do a lot of damage because once you're over here and you're set up on this fifth hill, it's really hard to get a team out. So sure, you can pick up a couple kills. Assault just got a kill. Silly just got a kill. Even if you are able to get into the hill, you still have to continue breaking spawns in order to push up the map even, even further. So think about it. If one team has this hill, then as the enemy team gets close, they have to win a gunfight in order to even approach the hill. And there's one choke, so that's really hard to do with all the head glitches that are over here. So even if they are able to win that one, now they have to win a team gun battle to get back into the hill, right? Who's gonna, whoever's going to get time off of that. And then if they're able to get time, now they have to push forward and win another team gun battle. So you have to win three rounds of team gun battles there and able, and able to force the enemy team out there. And that's just 
it's super hard to do. So that's why you see such a massive lead. So you see about a 70 point lead. And again, this map from the fifth to the first to the second hard point, you want to be on this side of the map, right where Envoy was right there, right where Formal's coming up. You're holding down this back spawn. If you can do that, again, this first hill is kind of just throwaway time, right? You're trying to get in and you're trying to contest, but um, it's not the biggest deal if you don't get a ton of points on this first hill. What is important is that if you're into that second hill, you can then stack a lot of that time. And then as it gets back from the third to the fourth, back to the fifth hill, you can stack a lot of that time as well. One thing I'll point out right here as we're going through this is that it looks like Chicago, it doesn't necessarily look like they have spawns. At least they didn't. There was about two spawns in a row there where formal spawned out. Now it looks like they've recovered, but Whatever Minnesota was doing there, again, it was a little bit hard to see if they were pushing from the left flank or the right flank, but they were able to do a little bit of damage there and spawn them out at least once or twice. They weren't able to follow through and actually sp uh, flip spawns there, but they got pretty close to it. So with that, this is usually the time where I love watching these scrims because we're able to listen in and see exactly what they're talking about. So with about a 100-point lead here, let's go ahead. Let's listen in. Let's hear exactly what Chicago's talking about, and I'll chime in where I think that it needs to be done. Did you push out the back? You push out the back, white truck. White truck, Asim. Start pushing through. No shot. If he's white truck, I'll get time. I'll get time. You can go. Look at your nice job of switching off time there. So Formal just hopped in hill because you'd rather have a faster SMG player rotating to the next hill rather than Formal. So good job. You see that a lot, but nice job out of that. RCVs with a double top stone still up there. So Minnesota is doing a nice job of just holding them back here in this spawn. So they've already got the first 15 seconds, and you can see that Chicago can't get over there. They're just stacking these kills here. Broken, broken, gunner X, dead on more hill. Blue, in blue, blue. I've lost composure. Blue, 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 dead, blue, dead on more hill. X, we got L, we got L. Help us. Got heady, got heady assault. Got heady assault. So it took 30 seconds for Chicago to break that spawn trap and get up towards the hill. We'll see if they can get a few seconds here as the rest of this hill rotates. Got me top tower, top tower right now. Bottom, bottom, bottom silo too. Bottom, bottom uh, hotel. One more, two more old, two more old, two more old. Three, three, three. Cillian There's a bunch of old, bro. I'm going new. Silly and blue, silly and blue. Yeah, blue last time. Oh, fuck that. You might pinch front yellow. Blue. So they were just calling out that there were a lot of people at that last hard point. So as it rotates over here, it might even be something like a 1v1. Assault was there, formal ended up losing, but that's a big kill because again, there were people in hill, there were a lot of kills going down, so it was essentially a 1v1 as it was rotating for hill control of this next hill and just formal was, wasn't able to use it. He is able to shoot Seth in the back of the head. Some nice shots there from Formal. That's a tough kill to get. Watch your dog. Watch your dog. Close up. Close up. Close. Nice. I'm laying down. I only have six bullets. Only have six bullets. Formal's almost out of ammo. He's got to make a play. Two truck. Two truck. Two truck. Two truck. All right, so just real quick, if we're looking at time, 2.14 to 1.29. At this point, with 13 seconds left, if you're Chicago, all you want to do is just secure this back spawn. If you can secure this back spawn, then essentially you're probably going to end up winning on this next hard point. And if not, you're still going to be in position for the first and the second. So all you're trying to do here is just hold down this spawn. Those are massive kills. Those are not easy kills to get at that distance. And Formal just makes it look so easy. Ten seconds left. It doesn't look like anybody's too close. Oh, there is a contest coming in. Big kills by Silly. Two on hill. Alex also got a kill over there. Might end up getting flipped. It looks like they are getting flipped and spawning out. So now, this is a strategy that we don't see very often, but now if you're Chicago, all you want to do is just lock down these lanes, right? You just want to hold down this mid-cave cut and the lane outside by the cliff, so where top stone is, you just want to hold those down and then not let this team that has control of fifth get to the first hard point. If you only need five seconds left, well, it looks like they're going to push and potentially win off that. They're not going to win. But essentially, if you're going to win off the first hill, just hold down these two flanks the opposite direction, and if they can't get out of this current hill that they're in, then you're going to end up winning off the first hill. 
So as we wrap this one up here, thank you guys so much for checking out another video. I appreciate all the new subscribers, all the likes, all the comments. I try to respond to every single one of them. So if you ever have any questions, make sure that you leave a comment. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe for more of these breakdowns in the future. Don't leave without leaving a like, and I will catch you guys in the next one. We'll see you.